Hey, John Park here with a black box video. And what I wanted to do was show you how you can live loop something you're playing into the black box while it's playing. So let's have a look. Uh, first of all, what I'm gonna be playing, I've got a little stylophone here. Uh, you know these guys. So I'm gonna uh, sample that into the black box while it's playing. So to do that, I've set up uh, a sequence that's got some drums in it uh, and another uh, sort of looping glitch drum. So let's see what happens if we just hit play. If we go into a fresh empty pad, what I can do is hit info. Uh, and since there's no wave file loaded into there right now, this is in the record mode. Uh, I can stop this for a second while I explain and uh, some settings that we're gonna care about. If we hit info, we can go to a whole bunch of extra settings. Um, and this is the main record screen. So first of all, I'm gonna set this up to be a clip and it'll be a toggled clip. So that way it'll just loop over and over again. Uh, and then going back to the record screen, uh, I'm recording in left and right channels. Uh, it's going out of output one. Uh, you can set a threshold, which we're not going to use. You can load a WAV file, which we're not going to do. Uh, and you can set the length of this. I'm going to set this to just one bar. Uh, and it's going to have a quantization of one bar. So we can check levels. So this gain here, I've gained this up a bit already. You can see if it's at uh, its default of zero. It's a little quiet. So I'm just bring this up a bit. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, and then what we can do is go ahead and hit play. And so now we have the loop going. And uh, then what I'll do is I'll hit record and it'll count off a measure for me. I've got the metronome uh, turned on when recording. That's what it sounds like if it's just on all the time. So I'll set that only to happen when I record. Uh, and if I go back to my pad, uh, this is ready. Uh, so I'll get hit, hit record, it'll count off the measure, and then I'll play a little uh, ditty. Let me practice that. Uh, what's that going to be? All right. So now it's captured it, it's looping it, uh, it's exactly a bar long, so it's just going to work. Uh, and then we can do some things with it to process it while it's playing. Um, I'll leave this all playing. You could, of course, if you're more in a studio mindset, you can listen to that on its own. But pretend you're adding in samples as you're live looping. Uh, we can go in and mess with this while it plays. So uh, first of all, let's go and filter it. Uh, then if we hit to miscellaneous, uh, looping is on. That's why it's looping. Get your quant size uh, syncs. We're gonna leave all that alone and then MIDI. Uh, so since this is a uh, clip in clip mode, that means we can go and pitch it using the keys or the new grids. So you can see it still stays inside of that one bar. Now we're getting some cool glitches going on there with the sample. That's kind of cool. You can also pitch it, uh, the sample right here.
And you can also put some effects on that. So let's uh, play. Hit the effects. And add some reverb in. You can go to the mixer and just mute some channels if you want to hear that. All right, I uh, hope that was helpful. That is one way to record live and loop a clip that you've recorded and then mess around with it. See you next time.